Good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our tutorial for this evening. So we're moving straight to our class on animation. And uh, this time around, we're going to go deeper into modeling of assets, advanced modeling, system modeling. So we would like to model some of our new uh, assets on the screen here. We have a car tire. The one you are seeing on the screen right now. So let's begin by modeling this. So first of all, I want to keep this image by the side as a model right inside. So remember, for now, we're not using reference images as important reference images inside our viewpoints. We're actually modeling from the environment by looking at the artistic impression from somewhere. It can be an artistic impression, it can be a photograph, depending on what you want. So now let's begin the model. Okay, First to get a cylinder, okay, I want to go to the right screen, drop the cylinder okay. tool, then increase it a bit, depending on what you want. You can reduce the radius to something small as like this. Then go back to your screen. I want to lift it up so that it will stand at the center of my perspective view. Okay, so now I'll go back to the environment. This is what we have I activate your edge faces, then come right here to reduce the segments. The height segment should be reduced. Just use a one like this is okay. Then increase the sides to something much smoother. Okay, 26 is still fine. So you right click and go to convert to editable poly. So right now we are going to click on this environment. First, we are making the tire itself, after which we make the rim and bring it together so for now the tire let's begin so you click on insert when you click on insert to drag it down to get what exactly you want please remember that this tire is not uh, if, if it does not have flat surface it has so many curves shapes so we're going to use our sense of imagination to achieve this purpose so click ok and then I have done that. I can move straight in to this other side and delete the edge. So go back to this side, click on extrude. We extrude it negatively. Negatively, we are going to stop at this point. Yeah, this is good. I also want to extend it a little bit inside, like as in as this is okay for me. So I'll click OK and delete it. So take a look at what we have. We have a little shape of this, the tire. So now go get your segment creator. That is this one. Click on here, then hold shift and click on it again. Go to chamfer, then you smoothen it. Smoothen it this way will be verified. Yes, click OK, then click this, bring it, click convert, a little bit further, click OK, then drag it out to give an about shape of a tire. Ball shape of a pumped tire. I think you can see what we have here. Then now, chamfer that design a bit, just chamfer it a bit and click OK. So the chamfering is working very well. Now we have to straighten this edge by rigging it, go rig that edge and bring it closer. Click OK. Then after we have done this, you can move straight to 
deleting one side of this shape you don't need all the size to show you so what do you do you go straight to this point and delete so come back and observe what you just did by getting the shape of the tire bit. so click on here rig it then click on create at least two segments and place them at the center of your tire click ok use your rotate tool go to local rotate and then carefully carefully rotate this shape by twisting it this way a bit so this is exactly what i want to achieve with this so take a look at the tie again we must not get the details on this tie because we are using the basic tutorial if we go down to the basic detailing i may get you confused on what i'm doing but let's just do it on a grassroots level so that you can follow through so now i have to go straight now that you've gotten this chamfer the lines you just created and uh, make it a bit narrow, narrow. make it a bit narrow like something as big as this is okay then you will also have to hold each of these vertices one by one to chamfer them as well so I have to do this carefully just carefully so you continue chamfering all until you get what you actually want so carefully do this there is no that way working on the noise environment today you be with me the environment is a bit noisy we have some students who are very busy so we are going to continue with what we're doing carefully remember that i'm still on the chamfer mode i've not dropped the chamfer button so continue selecting until you reach where you are going continue continue please pay attention to this class and forget about the distractions we are moving on until we are done selecting every feature of this Okay, so I've reached the other edge and the, the whole feature is represented well. So now I have to carefully watch if that is true and exactly that is true. So you click OK. Chamfered all. So carefully again, go get your polygon tool and we're going to pick every segment of this polygon. First, you hold this and press select all with shift button. Okay. At this point, this is not responding the way I want it. So, there we have to take it gently, though. So, just let's take it gently to get what we want. There are faster and easier ways to do this, but I want you to observe this and learn some technicalities involved so that when you go using the automatic ways, you when, if you fall into a problem, you can actually know how to resolve this problem. Don't get stuck with an idea. So please don't be in a haste. 
jump through classes. So now we have to get our rim. We we'll go straight get your rim. Click on the left view screen, the left the left uh, window. Get your cylinder. Go straight to the center. Make sure this uh, rim rhymes with the tire. It must, else the tire will wobble. It will be wobbling while you are using it for your animations. So now I've fixed my rim inside. This is the shape that I want to use in achieving my rim design. So fasten it inside the tire. Let's see if it is really corresponding well. I assume that it is corresponding a bit. So this is exactly what we're working on. A rim that will fasten something a little bit inside like this. So this is cool. Very, very cool. And uh, what else are we going to do? I'm going to, first of all, take my tire out of the scene. How do we do that? You right click and click on hide this. I'm hiding my tire and the rim is visible. Now, observe carefully. Go get your right click here first, convert to editable poly, go to your poly. Then I'm going to get this exact design that we have here. Though I'm seeing only the sideways, but I think with the sideways, I, the side picture, I can actually connect it to what my mind is telling me. The design is very dynamic a bit that you guys can be carried along. So now it's set, just inserted it, and uh, I want to come down a little bit down, like this, down, down, like this. Click OK. Then you go do in extrude, extrude it inside. This is what I want to achieve with this. Extrude it a bit inside, not too inside, like that. Like this is cool, boys. So click it and go get this guy and bring it together. Together, like this is fine. So now we have achieved this objective. The next now is for us to start connecting the, the main pillars, or uh, should I call it the holders of this ring. Uh, holds it together so now go get your insert again i'm going to do i need any set at that stage yes i do so then after which i'll need a smaller insert that will put the center fan which i'm going to make it stop at this very point yes this is a good so now we have one two three four five five of them and they are divided into two inside of each so we can achieve that purpose by trying to figure out what to have the bearing. So this is what we do. We go straight to the first one, click, 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 skip. We're gonna skip just hold three. Uh -huh. We're looking for five. Uh yep, we give more gaps and we hold three and lift three okay we hold three and lift three yes this is what we'll be doing hold three and lift three and at this point we'll be oh my god god so at this point we will have excess and this is not giving us five one two three four this is just four so let's start again we hold two we hold two uh should I say to okay. Let's hold the uh, three and lift two. Let's hold three and lift two. We hold, oh sorry. We hold three and lift two. Hold three and lift two. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five beds. One now appear to be bigger than the others. Remember, this your work must not be perfect. Yeah, it must not be perfect. I mean what I'm saying. So now, before we actually 
do is I want us to go get this rig tool. Check this rim. If you observe carefully, see that this rim at this very stage curved. It has a little curve here. So we're gonna do that. Right click, I mean rig it, go get it like this. Get it to be two segments connected to each other, fast and closer, then pull it out. Like this is cool. So you can observe carefully if it is flushing well so that the tire can move freely on the road. Yes, and then observe carefully again what we have here. Yes, 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 it's cool. And then we can now go get our polygon. So we extrude through that polygon extrude it carefully watch the thickness of your rim it's not going to be that thick boys so everyone so please just be careful as you're extruding i want to start with just a little extrusion click ok and get the bigger one bigger one like this click ok and get a little extrusion Click OK. So at this point now, I'm going to hit on the delete button to empty that polygon. Yes, yes, yes. This is very nice for me. Very, very nice. So please go come, come this side. Come this side. We are. Don't worry anyway. Don't worry. So let's just finish what we're doing before we come to that side. We'll come. So now go straight to your dream again. We are going to hit this guy again and set it, set it like bring it closer, closer like this. Yeah, this close is fine. So go back, look at what you have. This is too narrow, and yeah, this one is cool. So you push it inside. Yes, this is what I have in mind. Yes, I'm getting it. So we now get the last guy and set it again. I want this to still go inside a bit. Then I want the smallest of them all to be here. Will it still go inside? No. It will stop at this point. But will it be this big? Mm, not really. A little bit smaller, like small like this. It's cool. So now we have gotten small shape of a rim, just something closer to what we're looking at, looking for. So go get your polygon, your edges. Hold on the new edges from here and there and here and there. Just one for each and rig it. Make sure all guys are rigged out. Then go get your connects. We are giving them just one, one connect. Okay, let's give them two, two connections and fasten it closer to the edge. No, this will give us a rigid design. So let's click here, pull it out a bit, just a bit. Then. I like what I'm seeing. It's okay for me. So I can come here once more, get the last ones at the extreme end here, and then rig it. Before you rig, yeah, just rig it, okay? Rig it. Then go get your connect tool. I'm going to push it upwards to hold firmly to the edge there. Then come here, get these guys as well. So you also rig the guy and go connect. So we want to stop it this way. Come here as well. Rig, connect. We're going to get two and click on OK. So now we also want to fasten the shape here. So loop it, go to chamfer, 
uh, you do it 